back to do a Geek Gear unboxing. And I'm a little confused because this came right on the heels of the last one I just received. So I don't know if there was maybe a delay or an overlap because I signed up for it late or what's happening. Um, I do also subscribe to their Harry Potter box and I didn't receive a second one of those right on the heels of it, just this one. So I'm a little confused, but I'm all right with that. We're gonna go ahead and, and roll with it. So for those of you who don't know, Geek Gear is a monthly subscription box that you know offers geek themed items as uh, is popular right now with a lot of boxes. But they are out of the UK. And so one of the nice things about the going through their boxes is that in a lot of cases they have exclusives, they have uh, items that are available potentially in the UK or in that part of the world that aren't as readily available here in the US. And their items tend to be really good quality from what I've seen from other boxes, uh, other unboxings. And my own experience with the very first box has been a very pleasant one. So I'm enjoying it already and I'm hoping that that enjoyment continues. If you're interested in Geek Gear or the other variations that they offer, uh, they do a Harry Potter box and they also do a Harry Potter wearables box, which is, you know, created out of wearables, t-shirts and hats and socks and all of that stuff. Uh, if you're interested in those, check out the link down below to see if this is something that'll work for you. Just be mindful of the fact that it is a box out of the UK. You're going to have to factor shipping into that to see whether or not this is worth it for you. So, with that all being said, let's go ahead and open it up and find out what this is because I wasn't expecting another box quite this soon. They have a pull tab, which is kind of neat. Rip that open. And it's all wrapped up in red tissue. There we go. So the first thing that I received, I am really confused. I don't know what this is. So this is a box of random stuff. It looks like it's got some Harry Potter stuff and some non Harry Potter stuff. I am really confused. I don't know what this is for, but let's go through it anyway. Let's go ahead and open it up and, and go through it. So the very first thing that I got was a Hogwarts shirt and Magical adventure awaits you at Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Wizardry. Is it in my size? It is in my size my requested size. So it's in kind of the um, Gryffindor colors, but it's a Hogwarts shirt and I like that. That's nice. All right, so the second thing that I got is a Doctor Who shirt, which is also in my size. I'm really confused. I don't remember. I don't think I ordered a, like, miscellaneous box. I don't even know if they have a miscellaneous box option. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and open this up. It is a white shirt. It's a Doctor Who shirt. It says the Doctor Time War Survivor. I think I'm reading that correctly. I actually don't watch Doctor Who currently. It's on my to-do list. I know. I just, I don't seem to have time to watch all the things I want to watch. So not really sure what that's um, about yet, but I like the shirt and eventually I'll get around to it. So that's a plus. I also received a scarf, I think, that's a Slytherin, and in the Harry Potter box that I just got from them, um, I also got a Hufflepuff scarf, so that's nice. Now I've got two, uh, depending on what mood I'm in. And we got a lanyard that has Hufflepuff on it. And it's nice that it actually already has the um, like card protector on it, so which can easily unclip. So this is something that I could certainly use with, you know, a badge I already have, even my work badge. 
I wouldn't be opposed to doing that. Um, but if I were, for example, going to a, a convention or something and needed to have a place to protect my pass for that, it's already included. So that's kind of neat. And it's got like a zipper thing so you can close it up and keep it protected. So I like that. And all right. So I do see a couple of things that I did get in that previous box. Like, for example, I got the Zelda pen in that in my previous box. Um, I got I think this is the Assassin's Creed necklace, which I did get in the other box. Let's double check and see. Now I do know that they had some Assassin's Creed necklaces that were uh, exclusives in the sense that they came in black instead of silver, which was kind of a standard one. So let's see if that's the case here. Nope, it looks like it's a silver one, maybe. I have all of the things that are, okay, yep, it's a silver one. So got another one of these, so that's cool. And then it'll actually work out um, because I had a friend of mine who said that he was interested in this and then another friend of mine who said that they might be interested in it. So I am going to actually send a note over to Geek Gear just to make sure they didn't send this to, be, to me by mistake um, now that I've <laughs> opened things and unwrapped things. But um, just want to make sure because I wasn't anticipating receiving this. But... Anyway, let's forge on. So we also got some Hufflepuff socks. Socks are always needed, so I appreciate that. We did get some um, prints, so which we'll take a look at in a second. Uh, we also got a superhero story coloring comic book, which I actually had seen in um, Nerdy Noobs video from Geek Gear and she was super excited about this because the kids at her work program uh, use these like crazy and Geek Gear actually sent her a whole bunch to use in her school so I really really appreciate that and now it's kind of neat seeing it up up close and you know I definitely have some kids in my life who will appreciate having that to to play with and then the other thing that I got, oh, no, nope, there's more. Um, this I actually did get in the Harry Potter box. It's a Harry Potter coloring book. And this is something that was put together by Geek Gear, I believe. But it's actually a really nice coloring book. I mean, the, the illustrations are, are pretty spot on in terms of, you know, the characters and options. So that's neat. And then it looks like I got a whole bunch of prints down at the bottom. Oh, keeping in mind that we still haven't actually looked at the the other prints. Oh my gosh. So what? I don't, I'm so confused. Okay, so we got the uh, controller print, which I had also seen in Nerdy Noob's video. I'm really happy to have this one. I really liked this one a lot when I saw it in Nerdy Noob's video. Um, so this is um, Totoro, of course, and there's like a, a flower valley scene across him. So I like that. Uh, and then we have a Harry Potter and Patronus print which I like quite a bit. That's very pretty. And then we have an Iron Man uh, Obama kind of mashup poster. The old um, uh, Yes We Can kind of poster images that uh, President o Obama used to post. Um, and then we have a different symbols of the superheroes. I like those colors. And then, we, there's more, but wait, there's more. 
we have a Superman decal, which I actually really, really like. I might um, end up putting that up in my closet. That might look a little weird since I have Star Wars on there, but you won't mind if I put Superman up there too, right? Superman and the <laughs> X-Wing fighters. Um, anyway, we also have a, a small placard Harley Quinn and Joker on the other side. I was talking about Suicide Squad. And then we have, it keeps going. Um, this is from Futurama. It's like an oversized postcard, Futurama. And then we have a Nintendo-like blueprint of their controllers. And then we have these. So these are some additional prints. Uh, they came in the same type of cardboard tube that the um, Zelda prints came in in the previous box that I received. So let's see if these are additional Zelda prints or if this is something else. Nope. All right, so we have a Harry Potter and the Spells You Need to Know print poster. And then we have a, a Daily Prophet print. And then we also have a poster of, oh, it's another Harry Potter, kind of a stylized Harry Potter print. There's uh, Voldemort up there and Dumbledore and Snape and the three of them. There's Hedwig down below and there's no spoiler card in there and no note so I have no idea why I received this I'm amazed thank you to Geek Gear I will certainly reach out to them and ask and make sure that this was actually legitimately for me again if you're interested in checking out Geek Gear the link is down below Come back and visit me for the next actual Geek Gear unboxing, and hopefully by then I'll have some information to share regarding that. So until then, I'm going to try to roll up this poster and get it back in the tube. I'm having some trouble with that, and uh, we'll see you next time.